Welcome everyone to this uh, special session today. Um, I've received an email from an, a user of my channel here. He asked me uh, to show how to create multiple you know, circles around features or polygons around features. And the big question is how many features? And he has about 1000 points or he has to create around 1000 polygons with the exact um with an exact radius he was given so what we will do for that so we have here the example number 10 in the book getting to know arcgis and there are these um, points given by shopping centers which is just a point shape file and for the purpose of automatically creating polygons around that or not on the polygons but um circles around them, we will use a function called buffer. Buffer means that um, you will uh, create something like a zone around the feature uh, with a given radius. So what we'll do is we will need the toolbox for that. Um, and what else? Well, we have to search for it. So maybe we could go with the search window and as you can see I've already done this here we can find the buffer function here in analysis so analysis tools it should be proximity and we can use buffer and so just close the toolbar again here and say buffer what we will need to do is we need to have an input feature. We will choose shopping centers for that. We need to create a new output feature class. So the feature class containing the output feature buffers, um, which is now our areas around shops dot shp. And what we will need as well is a distance given by a linear unit. Uh, you can also choose a field which be, uh, which is part of uh, shopping centers. So given by the field you can create an automatically um, adjusted polygon which is quite useful if you have something like um, well, well mm. There's no example in my mind in the moment, but um, I could imagine that it's quite useful. So, but we will stick with the linear unit and we will say, okay, let's say the um, linear unit um, is, um, okay, buffer zones, um, we will use 1000 meters. And the dissolve type is quite interesting because you can say, well, e every every um, every buffer zone is an individual feature in the resulting uh, shape file, or it is combined maybe with other uh, features of the buffer file. So we will stick with that. So this is done now. Um, actually, I always have to click on geoprocessing and let's show the results. It should be automatically shown in your project. So we will, I will use the add to display function for the output feature class. And here you can see now each uh, point has its own buffer. We can have a look here in the attribute table. So the buffer distance is given here, I think, in yeah miles, I think. But I'm not sure about that. So what we will can what we can do now in the moment is we can zoom into. So this is a mile, uh, this should be more or less a kilometer distance. So we'll adjust the measuring unit from miles to kilometers. And yet there we are, one kilometer. And so the diameter is two, two, um, two kilometers. So uh, that's it for a question. Thank you very much for asking this. Uh, I would like to share it everywhere. So 
Now you only have to choose your points and the creation of the shapefiles around that will be done automatically by using the buffer function. Thank you very much for watching.